Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank y'all for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I'm back to posting like normal now. If you watched my last video on Monday, you know I said I took off the week of Christmas, but I'm back to uploading and doing videos like normal now. So today's video, as you can see by my title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be comparing two baits that are in a similar category, but they have a lot of differences. And that bait, is, or those two baits, are gonna be the Berkeley Frit Side and the Rapala OG Slim. So just a little, a little overview, general overview on these two baits. They're both, uh, you could call them a square bill crankbait, you know, a, a shallow running bait, and they're for high pressure situations, meaning not only, you know, a high fishing pressure, like, you know, a, a lot of boaters, a lot of pressure on the lake, but also if the water's super hot or the water's super cold, that's really when these two baits are designed for, and that's when they shine. Not to say that they won't catch them 12 months out of the year because these baits will catch fish 12 months out of the year. But I mean, even when even reading on the pack, I mean, they're they're pretty much designed for a lot of fishing pressure, tough conditions, and super hot water or super cold water because they have a, a really subtle, really subtle action. So to begin with, I'm gonna start with the Rapala OG Slim. So I'm, like I said, I mean, these are not even open yet. I mean, I have used both baits in the past. I'm just gonna go and out of the box review on these. So this right here is like the original brown crawdad color by Rapala. I mean, that's just that's just an awesome looking color. As you can see, it's got the brown on the top and then the the light orange, almost yellow on the side and that, that really bright orange on the bottom. And then this bait right here has a circuit board bill and you can see it's more, I call it a square bill. I mean, that's that's the category that ends a square bill, but it's more of that rounded, that rounded bill shape. And like I said, it's got that, got that little circuit board bill. And I'm pretty sure the circuit board just makes it a little bit tougher. You can kind of bang it up a little bit more and it's, it's got some flex in it where it's not gonna break as easily, I don't think. But like I said, this is the Rapala OG Slim. So out of the pack, the color, the detail and the color's really good. The hooks on it are the, the stock hooks. Like I said, they haven't been out of the pack. And I'm gonna see real quick. So the hook, usually if you slide a hook on your fingernail and it catches, that's how you can tell it's sharp. And this one right here slid. So I'll say that about Rapala baits. The hooks out of the package aren't great. I mean, they're decent hooks you could go fishing with, but if you're in a tournament situation or if you're fishing and you don't want to lose fish, I would definitely, you definitely have to change the hooks on this bait. That's the first thing that I would do. And throwing this thing is a little bit of a challenge. I mean, it is a, it's a balsa, a balsa bait. It's the package. It says that it weighs, let's see. I saw it earlier before I started recording. Okay, so it says the depth range is six foot, like it'll go six feet deep, and I'd, I would have said probably four to five foot, but it says six, and it says that it is two and three quarter inches long, and it weighs a half ounce. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a heavy enough bait, you know, it's, it's a little bit bigger square bill. I mean, you can see it in my, hopefully you can see that in my hand. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a decent sized bait. It's probably the size of like a 2.5 uh, KVD. I mean, like I said, it's two and three quarter inches long. So that's how they do that 1.5, 2.5, 4.0. They're doing it by the inches. So almost a three inch bait. And it's pretty, it's pretty wide. You can see that on its back up there towards the top. It's pretty wide. But what I was gonna say is when you're throwing this thing, since it's balsa, if you have any wind, you know, a ripple on the water or some wind, it kind of is a challenge to throw this thing. It wants to like just go all crazy and like butterfly through the through the air when you're throwing it. So it doesn't have a very direct a direct cast. It's kind of hard. I haven't thrown it on a spinning rod, but if you throw it on a spinning rod, you might have better luck out of it. But the times that I've thrown it on a bait caster is it's kind of tricky to throw. So like I said, right out of the pack, and I've, I've used this bait, not this exact one. So definitely you're gonna wanna change the hooks. It's kinda hard to throw, but you know, it's got that really subtle action. It's just like a, you know, it's a original, uh, original balsa bait. I mean, that's, it's just like balsa baits from the past. It's just, you know, a modern, modern take on it with the modern colors and all that stuff and definitely some advanced technology. But like I said, if right out of the pack on the Rapala, great colors. I love the colors on Rapala. 
They're super detailed. I like the circuit board bill. And the only thing I would change are the hooks. You'd have to get some better hooks on it. And you just kind of be mindful when you're casting this bait. And the Fritz side, I'm gonna go ahead and open, open the Fritz side up. It's got a little bit different packaging on it. A little bit harder to open. So I will say I'm trying to do this no bias. I have used the Fritz side more, but I'm gonna try to do it no bias, like I said. So here we go right here, the, the Berkeley, the Berkeley Fritz side five. I'm not sure these these two baits are about the same age, I guess if that makes sense. Like they've been out for about the same time. I think the Fritz side's been out for a little bit longer, but pretty much they've they came out in 2020. So they're they're about a year old, year and a half old bait. So like I said, here's the Berkeley Fritz side. So out of the pack, you can tell. Once again, I call it a square bill, but it's like a, it's an altered square bill. I have another video on this bait. It's like a, I call it like a baseball field shape, but you just have the regular plastic, you know, the clear plastic, like in most other crankbaits. And let's see the hooks. Usually I've, I like these, the Berkeley hooks. So as you can, like I said, I'm trying to pull that down my fingernail and it's catching. So definitely the, the Berkeley bait has a lot better hooks. I mean, literally this, you can take this bait right now and I would go fish it in a tournament. My little brother, Austin, you see him in the videos, him and his partner, Sam, won a tournament on the Fritz side and Austin opened the pack of the bait that morning and caught all the fish on that bait. Like he literally used the hooks in the tournament. They caught three, I think three of their keepers come off that bait that he opened the morning of. So, I mean, it's a, the hooks are really good. That's what I'll, that's one thing that, the Berkeley has got on the Rapala. These have got great hooks out of the out of the box, and that's really important when you're paying you're paying the same amount. That's another thing I forgot to mention. These are the same price point bait. I think you can around where I live, the Berkeley is eight ninety nine and the Rapala is nine ninety nine. But if you look online, I'm pretty sure they're both in the nine dollar range. So the same price bait, and the Berkeley has got better hooks on it. And I like the you can see the paint on this shines a little bit more like in the in the light from the uh in the light from the lamps and the ceiling fan that i've got on it's got more of a gloss a gloss to it than the than the rapala is more of like a well it I, it does have it does have a, a glossy finish but it just seems to me like this looks more it looks more smooth like rounded smooth like a marble compared to this and too, I mean, it, it is a different color and that's a lot of it, but th this looks like it's a whole lot smoother bait, which I mean, I don't think that really does much, but like I said, that's just, just, you know, looking at it and you can see it's got the, it's got some, some decent eyes on there. It's got, you know, a, a big black eye with some yellow around it. And then whereas this one has just got the eye is painted on there. So if you're looking, looking at detail on the hardware, I think the hardware on this is better on the Berkeley, meaning the hooks, split rings, the eye, and stuff, you know, just just the little stuff like that. But also that makes a that makes a big difference. So when you're putting them putting them up to each other, that's kind of what you're here for to watch this video. So here they are side by side, you know, both both baits, and then I'll show them I'll show them like this, where you can see see the back of them. So there you go. You can see that the Rapala on the right is a whole lot, whole lot thicker. I say a whole lot thicker. It, it's a thicker bait, but I mean, really, they're not. The Rapala is really not that much bigger. I'm gonna read the specs on this Berkeley real quick. It is. It says it'll. The Berkeley says it'll dive two to five feet, and it says it's a third of an ounce, and it's two point two five inches. So it's two and a quarter inches long compared to two and three quarters on the Rapala, and it's a little bit lighter bait. But this bait cast a whole lot better. For whatever reason, this Berkeley bait cast a whole lot better. It's kind of, it's got these weights down here in the front. Those two little uh, lead circles you see, that's kind of like a, a counterweight, like a weight transfer system. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I will say the Berkeley, the Berkeley does cast a whole lot better, even though it is a little bit smaller bait. I think, I think because it's more streamlined, like it's, I mean, I'm not trying to sound like an engineer, but it's like it's more aerodynamic. I mean, it's, it's just a straight flat side, whereas this has got more bulk in the front and it's kind of got that big, 
that big rounded bill. It's like this one catches air a lot more and it kind of wants to flutter, whereas this just kind of throws, throws pretty straight. But like I said, here they are. Here they are side by side, like that right there. Great, I mean, great colors on both baits. Like I was saying, you know, this one has more of like a glossy finish to it. But I mean, obviously, I think the Rapala wins on the detail on the paint. And this is this is a pretty basic color. I mean, Berkeley does have some great colors, but I would say looking at it out of the pack, just the two baits that I picked, if you were looking to buy them, if you're looking for something that you can open up and start fishing it, start throwing it, and not have to worry about anything, I would say the Berkley, like I said, it's got great hardware, got the good split rings, really good uh, fusion hooks. It's got some, you know, more detailed eyes, whereas these are painted on. And it's got, like I said, it's easier to throw. It's uh, it's just, overall, it's an easier bait. That's what I'm gonna say about it. The Berkley is an easier bait, meaning, like literally, you can open this thing up and start fishing with it, and you don't have to mess with it. Whereas on the Rapala, if you wanted to fish this in a tournament or just going to fish for fun, you know, you don't want to lose fish. Well, the first thing you'd have to do is get you some different hooks on there. And then you'd have to get used to throwing it. Like I said, it kind of flutters through the air. But once you got all that figured out, it'd be a good bait, just as good or even better. So it's really, it's really situational. It's kind of how much time you want to put in it is what you'll get out of it. And like I said, if you just want to, if you just want to go fishing and catch fish, you know, cold water, I mean, right now it's winter time. That's why I'm making this video. These are cold water, cold water crankbaits. This right here definitely will be the easier way to go. Just tie this thing on and literally start fishing. You can throw it on 10, 12 pound line, six and a half foot to a seven foot medium action rod with a, you know, moderate action or a fast tip, you know, whatever you want to use. The same setup for this right here, you know, probably a six to three to one reel. Um, like I said, six and a half to a seven foot rod, medium action, fast action, or I'm sorry, a medium action rod with a fast tip or the moderate action, like a true crankbait rod. But this right here, you're gonna have to do a little bit more work to it. If you wanna throw it, you gotta put some, some better hooks on there and you're gonna have to get used to throwing it. And they're both, they both have their time and place. I mean, obviously, I mean, it's, you watched the whole video for me to say you, you need both of them. But I mean, if you're a serious tournament fisherman, I would definitely say you gotta have both of these things. But if you're just fishing fishing for fun, you don't you don't fish for tournaments, you're not you don't have to have, you know, hardcore in depth, five of each bait and three of every color, all that stuff. Definitely the Berkeley outweighs the Rapala. But if you're gonna put a little bit more time in it and you kinda mess with it, tweak it to how you like it, get right get um get used to how to throw it, learn, learn the best way to throw it. Definitely the Rapala, you can probably, you can probably do more with in uh, certain situations. You, you can probably, you can tweak this bait to get more out of it, but if you just want to be able to run and gun, definitely the Berkeley fret side. So like I said, that's just, that's just kind of my thoughts on this from opening it up out of the pack and using them more or using them, you know, in previous trips. I have used the Berkeley more, but I, I have messed around with the Rapala too. So that's just, that's just kind of my thoughts on them. Like I said, I'll show you, show you one more time. I mean, both of them are great baits. I mean, don't, you can't go wrong with either of them. I'm just, I'm just showing you like a, an in-depth opinion, you know, what I think on them, what I've, what I've learned from using them a little bit, but, but definitely you know, one more time, if you're just, if you just want to go fishing tomorrow, don't want to worry about anything, tie this Berkeley fret side on and you're good to go. And if you kind of want to maybe get a, get a little bit different action, you kind of want to, you're fishing some, you know, more finicky fish, push you some different hooks on here, you know, play, play with the split rings. You might have to put some heavier split rings on or get some lighter wire split rings get you a spinning rod, some eight pound line, just kind of kind of figure out the best setup for this and then you can get the most action out of it. So you'll have, to, you'll have to work a little bit more, but you can probably get a better action out of this bait if you tweak it. But that's, like I said, that's just, my, that's just my thoughts and opinions on this. Hopefully if you're looking up this video, if you wanna buy one or kind of wanna see the similarities and differences, hopefully this video helps you with that. And um, if you watch my other video, I said that I'm going to hopefully get to go fishing sometime soon. Maybe this weekend on uh, New Year's Eve, I can go or Sunday. I know it's supposed to get really cold, so I'd prefer to go on Sunday. Hopefully, I can get out to the lake and get a fishing video out. I've got a new GoPro camera that I really am excited about using, so I'm going to try to get some, some different camera angles and all that kind of good stuff. So 
2022 should be a great year. I'm planning on doing a whole lot of videos. Hopefully I can do more than I did this year. And thanks for all the support this year. And I'll see y'all on the next video coming out Friday. Thanks.